Today we are going to look at my portfolio starting with the largest position, Meta, which is over 8% of my portfolio. I started buying Meta in 2022 when everyone was selling the stock. That was a great decision I made. And so far, I haven't taken profit yet. You should be buying stocks when everyone is selling, especially if it gets undervalued. Just like I did with Apple, which is another position in my portfolio, but today it is only around 2% of my portfolio. And most of it comes from profits. I did that in 2016 with Meta, that was in 2022. And now there is another big tech stock that I'm buying. It looks like Meta in 2022 and Apple in 2016, that is PayPal. When it comes to growth stock, the market expects that growth and revenues will keep growing at high rates. But whenever, for some reason, the rate of growth is not that high anymore, the market will be disappointed and the stock price is going to crash. But you, of course, as the value investor, if it gets undervalued, this may be a buying opportunity. But you never know what is going to happen. Maybe you're going to hold a value trap, just like it happened with another stock that I'm currently holding, that is Alibaba. It is another big tech company, but this one, because it is in China, things are different. Maybe that's the reason why it is a value trap. Nevertheless, I'm not worried holding Alibaba. Over the long term, I believe eventually it will recover. Be careful how much you're buying because if a stock is going down and down, don't rush to buy. This is the mistake I made with Warner Bros. Discovery, another value trap I have in my portfolio. I'm over 50% down on my position. I stopped buying a long time ago, but the stock is just falling and falling. This is the definition of a value trap. But for now, the free cash flow that the company is generating is great. So I'm not so worried about the long term. They are going to repay their debt. I don't know when it is going to recover. That's why I tell you, be careful with value traps. When a stock is falling, don't rush to buy. But this is exactly what I'm doing with CF Industries. If I just look at the valuations, the company is undervalued. But I'm taking my time to buy because this is also a commodity cycle because stock, they make fertilizers and prices are going down. So we don't know when prices are going to recover, but the company is undervalued compared to an average, looking at even the worst case scenario where prices keep going down. Another cyclical stock I have in my portfolio is Tegna. It is currently trading at four times free cash flow. Digna is a company that is going to benefit from the 2024 elections because it is a company that owns TV stations and whenever there are elections and also the Olympics, people are going to spend more money on ads and definitely the revenues of the company and the free cash flow of the company is going to increase. It's important to understand what they are going to do with their cash flow and they are using it to buy back shares, which is something that they should be doing right now. Another stock that is going to be affected by politics is Geo Group. It is a private prison company and there is a crisis happening right now on the US-Mexico border. Definitely, they are going to benefit from this crisis, especially if we have a Republican administration. But I don't want to bet too much on politics. I don't invest for politics because when I first invested in this company, it would have benefited if the Republicans won the House and the Senate in the midterms. But this did not happen. Nevertheless, the stock price went up. I took my profits because it got such a big portion of my portfolio that I decided the risk was too much. So I don't really care about the news, what's happening in the markets in order to invest. But it's important to understand what is happening in the market, what is happening in the news. Some of the news are important and that's why I use City Falcon. City Falcon is today's video sponsor. Let's say on City Falcon, you want to search for Geo Group. You go on Geo Group, you can change the parameters, you can put filters, whatever you want. And then you can get all the news about your group. You can have the filings too. You can set different watch lists to have the news about specific items you want. If you're interested, you can use the promo code ISHFAQ for 25% off any subscription. Speaking about the news, another crisis happening is on the Swiss Canal, on the Panama Canal too. There is a shipping crisis right now. And I have a shipping stock in my portfolio, Zim integrated shipping. There is a possibility that this company goes through a short squeeze because 26% of fluid is currently short. And with shipping prices rising, many of these short sellers will have to cover their positions. But this is not the main reason why I bought. It is a side girl stock. And I was looking over the long term, on average, looking at shipping prices, shipping rates, looking at the company, it is undervalued. Another possible short squeeze in my portfolio is Liberty Sidious XM. The company is going to merge with its 
subsidiary Sirius XM, Liberty Sirius XM, the payright company. So there are different classes of stocks. It's something interesting that I will have to talk in more details. Warren Buffett is also actively buying the stock. Let's now have a look at some companies and their capital allocation, starting with Stellantis. Stellantis is one of the largest car manufacturers in the world. They have over 20 billion US dollars in a net cash position. 20 billion US dollars, they can do many things with that. But for the time being, they are, they are saving it. They can buy back shares, they can pay dividends. They do that, but not that much extent. Probably what they are doing is that saving the cash in order when we have a recession, they are going to acquire a competitor, which is something not bad if they are able to buy a competitor at a good price. This is exactly what La France de Jeu, FDJ is doing. They are acquiring Kindred. At the price at which they are getting kill red, it is a good deal for shareholders of both companies. And that's why I'm a shareholder of La Française des Jeux. Another company which is making great use of its capital right now is Harley Davidson, but they are focusing on buying back shares. Some companies take it to the extreme. This is like AutoZone, Booking Holdings. These companies have become so efficient that they are returning all cash to shareholders through buybacks. But of course, not all companies in my portfolio have good capital allocation. There is another one in mode, a company with a lot of cash on its balance sheet. But unfortunately, it is not really using the cash to buy back shares or to pay a dividends. It is waiting for an opportunity to buy something. But unfortunately, the opportunity is not coming. And I believe based on the amount of cash the company has on its balance sheet, it is better to buy back some shares. The management doesn't really understand how share buybacks can help the owners of the company. Why am I going to hold the company? It is because it is undervalued. Even if the management doesn't understand capital allocation so much, unfortunately, but they are doing a great job in terms of managing the company. I'm thinking of sending them a letter. Hopefully, they are going to change on capital allocation. Some companies I will call the silent ones. They became large position in my portfolio silently and gradually. So they did not shout. It was not like GameStop in just one month gain over 3,000%. So over the long term, the position grew and grew. For example, JP Morgan Chase, China Mobile, Ascent Group, and even Genwa Financial, which became the largest position in my portfolio. But I had to take profits on Genwa Financial because it became a little fairly valued according to me. And such a big portion of my portfolio, I don't want it to be in such a risky investment. Some companies are going to profit more than others with technologies in the future. For example, renewable energy, it is something that is going to happen in the future. And I have one renewable energy company in my portfolio, Renew Energy Global, which is an Indian company. So they are building renewable plants in India. And India is a country that is growing at a fast rate. More and more people are using electricity. And this is a country with low fossil fuel. Renew Energy Global has a big market to grow. I'm also bullish on copper because to build this renewable energy plants, electric vehicles, you need copper. And that's why I have report Mark Moran in my portfolio. I'm bullish on 5G too. This is another technology that is going to be here in the future. Not just 5G, but also the internet of things. And for this, I have Skywork Solutions in my portfolio. I have a few arbitrage positions in my portfolio. Capri, Albertsons companies, and, and Hawaiian Airlines. You will notice that 19% of my portfolio is in cash and cash equivalents. It's uh, not such a good thing. And it happened because of some new requirements on eToro for you to be a popular investor and elite popular investor. You needed 50,000 USD in equity. So I had to add cash to my portfolio. And this is what I did. Gradually, I'm going to use the cash to buy other stocks. As you know, there is a secret uh, stock that Warren Buffett is buying. And I believe it is on my portfolio. So I will recommend you watch this video. Have a nice day and goodbye.